Hey everyone, this is Ben, and in this episode we are going to talk about lithium iron phosphate batteries, other known as LiPo 4s. And a couple months ago I had a big influx of companies reach out to me and send me a whole bunch of uh, lithium batteries. And in my camper I was able to put several different uh, brands in there and test them out. And I ended up going with the 200, uh, 200 uh, uh, amp hour batteries in the camper uh, just to test it out. And then again in the van. Today we're going to be talking about this battery here. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hours, uh, 1,280 watt hour battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, the advantages of a lithium iron phosphate battery is it is lightweight and they are pretty much uh, you can discharge them all the way down to zero and recharge them back up and they are very versatile and like I said this battery here is from watt cycle so we're gonna go check it out talk about it for a little bit and then I'm gonna hook it up here in the ProMaster to my uh, 2000 watt inverter and I'm going to show you how uh, um, how I will run it here in the ProMaster van. The length of this battery is only 8.2 inches long. It's 6.6 .6 inches in width and only 10.24 inches in height. So it's a fairly small battery. Now when you purchase the battery, you're going to get the battery, you're going to get a nylon strap, and you're going to get these M8 bolts. And these are pretty standard on uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Now the rated voltage for this is going to be 12.8 uh, volts. Now the standard charging for this is 14.6 and the cycle life meaning the discharge or the DOD is going to be 6,000 cycles at 80 percent discharge. So that means at 80 percent if you um, charge this you'll have six thousand cycles of this now the self discharge rate of the battery is going to be less than three percent a month and uh, you know this is made of a nice ABS plastic it's all sealed so it is an IP67 so it's dust resistant and water resistant now if you're going to charge this battery using a 20 amp uh, charger it's going to take five hours. A 50 amp charger is going to take two hours. So depending on what uh, charger you're going to use, I always use a uh, 20 amp charger. So I'm looking about five hours to charge this thing up. Now many of the lithium iron phosphate batteries come with BMS protection. And that is to protect the batteries from certain conditions. Now some of the conditions that this thing will uh, automatically shut down is one an overcharge protection meaning if the in individual cell uh, exceeds the prescribed threshold during charging it will shut down now it also comes with over discharge protection voltage um, it also has charging high temperature protection meaning if it gets over 149 degrees during charging uh, it'll sense that and then shut down now during discharge high temperature protection um, you know the BMS will not allow any more discharging until that temperature gets back down now low temperature charging meaning in the cold conditions um, the BMS will not allow charging under 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and then of course overcurrent and short circuit discharge protection so those are the several protection modes in the BMS to protect your battery from being damaged now another feature of this battery is called cell balancing. Now a passive balancing process is activated by the BMS at the top of each charge cycle. Now when the battery uh, voltage exceeds 14.1, this ensures that all the cells remain at the same state of charge and which helps with its peak performance. So that's another feature that this battery has. Some of the applications you can use this batteries for is uh, marine type, which you're using your, your trolling motors or your boats, uh, RVs, campers, off-grid cabins, um, you know, if you're doing uh, any kind of solar power or uh, emergency power. I've got this in my camper hooked up to a uh, MPPT solar power controller to a solar power uh, uh, 
panel which charges this up. Now in my van, I have a inverter, which is a 2000 watt inverter, which I'm gonna hook up to the battery. Then I can use um, any kind of 110 or 120 volt uh, applications uh, to plug into this thing. So these hun uh, 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries are perfect. Uh, if you would like more power um, or longer watt hours, instead of having two of these batteries, you can have the option of using a 200 amp hour uh, battery as well. Now I'm gonna hook up my inverter to my battery. And then we're gonna go around to the front and then power on the inverter. So let's go ahead and power on my inverter. So right now I am showing a full capacity on my battery. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on high. Let's turn it on the fan. Now if we put the heat on, let's try with low. Now we're drawing 273 watt, 400. Well that, so that was the little, just an operation of what you can do with a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You know, these batteries are great for applications like I just showed you in a camper or in a, a van or even in your rig. Now I need a little bit more power when I am uh, camping because of my electronics. So I usually go with a 200 amp hour or I use my power stations from Blue Eddy. But something like this for a day use or a day or two to go out or just something that you are gonna uh, go out overnight or even a solo overnight trip. And I will be doing a solo overnight trip this weekend and I'm gonna be taking the watt cycle with me. So. If you're interested of getting a watt cycle, a, a lithium iron phosphate battery just like this, go to wattcycle.com right there and pick yourself one up this. I mean, it's, it's an easy, I mean, cheap, uh, economical battery that you can use. Something you can just carry around as a spare. And I want to thank Watt Cycle for sending us this battery for testing and review. And... Um, if you got any questions, pop them in the uh, comments below and I'll answer them as best I can or as soon as I can. If you made it this far in the video, uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. And, uh, you know, if you want to support the channel in another way, go ahead and check out our Patreon channel. Uh, with the Patreon channel, we've also started posting GPS coordinates of some of the places that we have been camping like the land between the lakes and some places up in the Ozarks uh, so uh, go to patreon.com and type in Semper Gumby and there are three levels where you can help support the channel anyway so until the next video we'll catch you then this is Semper Gumby out